Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we're going to be in John chapter 8, verses 21 through 24. In this moment, Jesus is standing on the temple grounds, he's teaching, and he keeps coming back for more. All right. So here's what the text says. He said to them again, now this is Jesus walking right back into danger, our courageous and bold Jesus. And listen to what he says. He says, I am going away and you will seek me and you will die in your sin. How about that for bold and brave in the face of men who are trying to kill him? Where I am going, he says, you cannot come. This is very direct of Jesus, fellas. So the Jews said, will he kill himself? Uh, Since he says, where I am going, you cannot come. Now, their assumption here in this moment is that the statement that Jesus is making is alluding to the fact that he was going to kill himself, which would send him to hell and elevates them above him. We know the opposite. Jesus was killed by them and was raised from the dead and went back up to heaven. So here's how Jesus responds to their statement. He said to them, you are from below. How about that? I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins. He just keeps coming back for more. That you will die for your sins for unless, unless, conditional phrase here, you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So uh, we learned today that Jesus was not a universalist. He didn't sport a coexist sticker on the bumper of his car. And we learn exactly the opposite. He tells us that some people are going to die and spend eternity in hell. And the people front and center at the moment on the Temple Mount are religious leaders. Jesus is very direct with them about this. They, Jerusalem's highest spiritual leaders, are going to hell and leading others there too. All because they refuse to believe. Now, I think if Jesus walked into our churches today, (laughs) he would pretty much say the same thing. And this scares me because I'm a pastor too. But know that this isn't a trivial matter. This isn't a laughing matter. There are pastors and leaders leading churches right now who never read from the scriptures. Or they only read from the scriptures they prefer, essentially ignoring all the challenging pages of the Bible. (laughs) Just like these men did here. I mean, there there are pastors leading churches today who, who don't follow and live by the scriptures that they teach, just like these men here in this text today. There are pastors leading churches right now who never preach about Jesus, or they only preach about the Jesus that they like, and definitely not the man who said this in this text. And there are pastors leading churches right now today who never, ever address sin, corporate or personal. They teach around matters of sin and even dismiss them as mere cultural nuances of biblical times. And these spiritual leaders and pastors and elders and priests are going to hell and they're taking other people with them. But be careful because we, the members of these churches and the participants in them, are complicit in this too. I mean, just think about how most people choose a local church. We choose a local church and the pastors we follow based on maybe a tradition or a music style or the charisma of the leader and the programming. I mean, seriously, that's the litmus test for a great church? I don't think so. And neither does does Jesus. I mean, when was the last time you heard anyone choose a church based on its willingness to drive out unbelief, correct sin, corporate and personal, and then lead people to the Savior, Jesus. I mean, seriously, when's the last time? But that is precisely what Jesus wants his spiritual leaders to do right here in this text. He's trying to get them to drive out their unbelief, correct their sin, and lead them to the belief that will save them from the fires of hell. So in turn, they will help other people do the same. But in this situation, Jesus already knows the end they are going to refuse to believe. They're going to crucify him, and they're going to spend eternity in hell. Yet, even though Jesus knows the end, what does he do? He comes at him again and again and again. He never gives up. He continues to give them a means of escape. 
And the means of escape here is this. For unless you believe that I am he. Here's some advice for you today, fellas. Attend a church with spiritual leaders who hate their sin and desperately love to talk about Jesus. You're going to know them immediately because during weekend services, they're going to talk about sin. They're going to address unbelief. And they will never avoid driving people to our Savior and Lord. I hope this blessed you today. I know it's strong. I would encourage you to share it with someone else you know. And let's save people from the fires of hell by driving them to Jesus.